because it's better, it's better content for more stuff. Welcome to the playoff round here, Canadian National Dodgeball Championships Women's Division. We have a big matchup here. Caffeine and Co. from Quebec versus BC2 Hyper. Playoff format, 20 minute halves, 40 minute game. These two teams qualified eighth and ninth to qualify for the playoffs. Play in to the quarterfinal matchup. Caffeine and coach of the line, four balls. Big attack, connects on right. Yeah, that is a big out. Um, this is Halen Sky and... Eugene Liu. And we're happy to bring this game to you guys. Big pump fake there by Joban Ross. As well as Wilson. Joban Ross, throw doesn't connect. Garcia, counter, also does not connect. Two balls on the hyper side. Four ball attack here, Caffeine and Co. Big Get. hit on Leaf. Great target to hit, Riel Leaf. Gold medalist at the World Championships on the mixed foam. Oh! oh huge catch. Hyper. I believe that's Fields. Follow up attack, good block by Gallinari. Molly Pelletier also on the mixed foam team for Canada. Hyper actually having quite a stacked team. Alyssa Wright also part of the women's Canada foam program along with Valentina Jew. Um, but on caffeine side, Jobin Ross also part of that group and being coached by Corinne Baron, who, you know, gold medalist for Worlds on the women's side. Okay, so Canada is super strong this in the dog This game is Yeah, and Tara Flat also part of that program. Four balls. Caffeine and Co. at the line. Wilson with the attack. Does not connect. Play call from the middle. Hyper at the attack. Triple pump fake. Pelche with the throw. Oh, Jeb and Ross saying, yep, that got me. Good follow up there. Gets Caffeine Co. down to two. Something to watch from Wilson. She's got a great drop shot. Now she's alone. Maybe we'll see that exhibited. Four balls from Hyper. They could throw three here. They do. Does not connect. Wilson survives. Deep breath here for Wilson. Defensive ball in the hands of Lau. Does not target her. Two balls wing out on the hyper side. Yeah, hyper probably looking for the pinch here. Those cross. Wilson rightfully throwing out one of those balls so they can't pinch her. Three ball attack. Pelche with the fake. Fields with the throw and the takeout. Yeah, Wilson saying, yep, that's that's one on me. Great honesty from our playoff players here, even in the playoffs. Always appreciated. Mm -hmm. We're in for a really good game. Hyper, so many very strong arms. Caffeine with a lot of tricky throwers. And, you know, at strong catchers on both sides. Double toss back. Hyper does not connect. Great dodge by flat. Play call gets relayed. Caffeine go at the line. Double throw. Oh, yeah. They're gets. saying field. You're not catching that one. Gets out. Pelche as well. She did a lot of damage in the first game. They take out Garcia. 
quickly. Six on three. Caffeine Cove with the lead. Four balls in the hand of Piper. Leaf with the throw. Block hitting uh, Richard trying to get the block, but it goes through. Fake underhand. Wilson with the throw. Big counter pressure. Lau just missing. Yeah, flat jumping over it. Call from the middle. Constantine putting pressure. Gala Yini with the play call. Throw comes from flat. 5v2 for Caffeine and Co. Deep throw from Leaf. This is a strong two for Hyper to have at the end. Lau, a very tricky person to hit. Leaf, definitely a cannon that can bring these numbers back down. Swiftly dodges that attack. Hyper get together for a play. Leaf again. Three. Three eliminations for Leaf this game. Yeah, hit on Galilee. Four, three. Good pressure from Caffeine to prevent that counter. Four, Let's see if they go three, back to Leaf again. Two. They do. Mm -hmm. Wilson slots over. On the wing. Four, three, two. Good block. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's a really good block when both Four, commentators try to say it. Yeah. Three, two, one. Ooh, and I believe we have a line out. Oh. Unfortunate for Caffeine and Co. And we go 2v2, three balls Captain both five. side. Four, oh, that's Constantin. Cross court catches Lau. Oh, follow up. Poisono getting it. Big close by Caffeine. Squaring this up, keeping this game 1 1. And that's exactly what we want to see. Yes. I love a close playoff game. Dodgeball at its finest here. Playoff round. Eight moving. seed versus ninth seed. Yeah, moving to 40 minute games, right? Yes, two 20 minute halves. Both sides have a timeout to utilize each half mm -hmm. as we change format from our round robin to our playoffs. And a 40 minute game, much different than a 20 minute game. You're thinking a lot more about stamina, um, arm strength. You're gonna dip into your bench more. You're gonna probably play a little bit of a slower pace so that you can maintain it. Wow, huge hit by number 10 on Caffeine, uh, Constantin. Five aside. Dino with the fake, Leaf with the throw. Good slide movement there. Caffeine goes, stays alive. Double throw at Leaf. Gives Hyper four, four balls. Three. Oh, tricky dodge by Caffeine. They almost land on each other in there. Oh. Chu with a counter, but it gets blocked. You see Hyper three ball defense. Good opportunity three, for a counter. You see Leaf pushes up and takes it. Oh! oh! What an amazing catch right at the line. Poisono surviving a volley of throws, making that catch on her back. Huge play here. Turns the tide, gives Caffeine Nicole a huge player advantage now. Six on four. Yeah, six on four, great place to be. A little hard to move. You gotta be a little more strategic with your dodges. Oh. Side arm. Oh my gosh, and a catch by Poisono. Bringing Flat right back in as she was eliminated. Always nice to have a second life. Oh, yeah. Huge fake by Leaf. Red line. 
that sidearm cross court throw. Pelche, one of, I think, a few only sidearm throwers. Yeah, she really whips it. You know, flat though has the windman, windmill and the overhand. Very tricky to play against players like that because you never know which way the throw is coming. Defensive play call made by Leaf. Caffeine Co at the line. Double attack. They have five. Now on the hyper side. Caffeine having one ball left. Flat looks at her team, says who wants it. Oh! Into the mitts and out from Constantine. So close. Leaf pushing. Takes the counter. Great pops there. Yeah, flat making lots of movement. We're going to see a lot of counter pressure with three ball defense. Hyper really wanting that aggressive push. Hyper and BC in general really preferring the three ball play style they love. Flat very on her tiptoes. But yeah, they love when they have four to throw the one set up for the rush uh, three ball play afterwards. You see that? They push the line, mm -hmm. opt not to throw and retreat. It's always so interesting when provinces develop certain play styles. And you can see it in multiple teams. Play call from Wilson. Takes the throw, blocked by Pelche. No counter available. Caffeine and Co doing a very good job getting back quickly. And these are the points where you're going to start seeing players get a bit tired. You can see it in hyper a little bit. Yes, absolutely. A lot of back and forth. A lot of, it takes energy to keep this charge counter play up. Oh, and they take out Garcia. Hyper in five, four, three, two. Both players throwing at flat. Gallagini taking the shot back. She said, I don't want you to have permission to do that. Underhand throw oh, and an overhand. Oh, yeah. That ball just landing on the top of Leaf's hand on the block attempt. Great attack by Wilson. That's that drop shot. Belche does not connect. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. Big block. block. Yes. Good job by the retriever. Keeps yeah. the Boys know, staying a little high on that. Maybe was looking for the trade, but Politek makes the hit. Wilson saying to her team, okay, let's regroup. Five, four, oh! oh. Double throw on oh, the line, the unfortunately. Line yep. Started the momentum back, but just couldn't stay in bounds there at the pressure from Caffeine and Co. But Pelletier, you know, looking in high spirits. Uh, they're, they're laughing about it a bit. She knows she played well there. She made a great hit. Not winded from the long game. She stays on here. Yeah. Hyper, not a very large amount of players on this roster. So they don't have as much of the sit opportunity as Caffeine. Agreed, and in a long tournament format like that, it'll be interesting to see how this long game plays out, especially if you have to continuously play these long games. Yeah, there's definitely a big advantage to larger rosters, but there's also some pros and cons, right? You have the ability to rest people when there's injuries, um, then also you have players who could potentially get cold because they're not getting as much play time as others. Hyper has the ability to get people warm and really in the game. But at the same time, that starts to wear on you and you're constantly relied on. Yep. <coughs> it is a tricky balance here. Oh. Double throw. Constantine saying, yeah, that got my wrist. Four ball attack here. Oh, right. <laughs> Smiling. She knows she barely got out of the way of that. Big throw by Wright. 
Oh. Slash at the line. Oh, oh, look at huge it. catch at the line wow. on the retreat. Made and it look easy. She is so good at that. That's what she's known for. A trap ball here near the front of the line. We see, we'll see if Hyper is able to keep caffeine from the ball. Ooh, you know what? Garcia tries to punish the pickup. Jobin Ross easily blocking it. Leaf gets taken out on the other side in the midst of the chaos. Double mid throw. Hyper dodges. Hyper in five. Four, three. Yeah, easy sidestep from Caffin's right corner. Hyper with the attack, right, sails a bit high. Four balls now, Caffin and Co. Bonus on Hyper at the line. Garcia takes the throw. Block. Jovan Ross. Oh, but right. Makes the shot on the shins. Trying to push up. Hyper using the, her additional ball. Hit made. Brosso. 4v3 now. Double attack. Ju Pelche does not connect. No, great block by number seven. With five balls. Caffeine and Co. They go at right. She's alive. Or not. Tagged out. Oh. And there's the hit on Richard. Hyper feeling good. They've, you know, dwindled the numbers into a 3v2. Fake. Two with huge fakes. Great pressure. Mid call here from Hyper. Easy sidestep from Russo. Cross court attack. Does not connect. Three balls on the side of Hyper at the line. Oh, and there's the hit. On fire this this game. Two eliminations and a catch. Yeah, McGinnis showing really strong form. Drop throw does not connect. Follow up throw set up, but does not connect. Last oh, ball throw. Baits it. That's a great position to be in when you're the last person left. Yeah. Good toss by Brousseau. Dodged by Pelche. Goes yeah. after again, that drop. Great throw by Brousseau. Beats the block. And I like what Brousseau is trying to do, trying to get the throws in before the balls are in hand. Great block. Ju right on target. If we're opting only to throw one, we'll see if they'll look for a pinch. And they go, oh, oh. Yep. Drew draws the attention. McKinnis, three eliminations and a catch this game. That's a, yeah, yeah, four outs plus one. Equalizes this, 2-2. Two, two. We, we have a close match on our hands here. And you know, right there was a point where Kefin dipped into their bench to give some people some rest. You see them make that change out again. Just over a minute left before our first no block. Jobin Ross with a great block off that strike. She makes the call. Oh, Gallagini with a big hit. Takes out Ju. Less than one minute left. Wilson with a side jump. Big counter pressure, Lau. Yeah, great arm, great rush. Takes out Boissonneau. And when you can take that shot at 15 feet rather than 25, your success rate's gonna be so much higher. And you see her, oh, she pushes for it again. Oh, pop-up oh, catch. But Field throws it. 
and Constantin clinches it. Oh, and she makes the following hit on Lau. Now down to 10 seconds. Yeah, Wilson calling to her team. We go into first no block. And I believe that's a 6v2. If I'm Caffeine, I don't mind running up for a trade. You know, closing that gap, closing that space. If, you know, Hyper's willing to come anywhere near the attack line, you have the bodies. Absolutely. Especially when you have numbers like this. They double oh, up, but, but it's up. Catch! Catch. It'll be one for one. Both balls hit. Okay. Kinnis gets credit for the catch. It'll be 2v5. It is a catch. Ju gets Rep. back into the court. Yeah, and that's a player you want back in this game. You know, high pressure. Good attack there. Yeah, Richard safe. Bounces before her knees. Opportunity here, Caffeine Code. You punish the two balls in hand. Yeah. yeah. And that's the play, Galliini. You, you, sudden death, you're, you want to throw at a ball. It's just a disadvantage. You're thinking about it too much. Jobin Ross out. Ball in hand as well. Ju just making these shots. Getting this to a 2v3. She has two eliminations. You hear the hyper bench. In. Every time Ju makes a dodge. Oh! Oh! oh. Tag out, tag out. Yeah. Caffeine and Co. quickly takes the sudden death match. First no block. They'll have a 3-2 lead as we pause for a bit before we start the second half. Yeah, Boissano looking super hyped after that. What a great first half. Absolutely amazing. Neck and neck. What do you think goes on in both huddles? Let's say you just won that match, Caffeine and Co. If you're the coach, what do you say to your team? You know, Caffeine, I think, is showing a lot of the right energy. They're, they're feeling the momentum right now. I think they're feeling confident about their hits. They're feeling confident about their team play. You've seen a few players, after they toss, they put their hands up being like, oh, my bad, my bad. And so think cleaning that up just a little bit, not falling into Hyper's game because Hyper's trying to bait. They want them to take those tosses. But if I'm Hyper, I would start focusing more on the team throws. They're, they're very effective with their three ball rush counter, but it's not always hitting. And so, you know, taking uh, it once in a while and mixing it up, getting four balls, taking a team throw, then maybe the next time doing the push rush. Um, I think that's kind of a little more what they need. They have very strong arms, and, and they need to use them together, yeah, would be my thoughts. You know, I think I would agree. You know, if, if you don't want to become too predictable in a match, mm -hmm. and when you do have strong arms, four ball attack is, can be more effective in a, yeah. in a push rush. And if we think back to um, the 2v scenario where they had Lau and Leaf, you know, we saw three throws come out of Leaf over and over again. We just saw Lau absolutely destroy somebody. Yeah. You know, she can throw two. Um, you know, changing those things up, making it a little predictable. Maybe after Leaf throws twice, she throws a huge fake and Lau actually takes the shot at that target. Ooh. I like the sound of that play. Right? Yes. Yeah. Do you have any predictions on the scores here, Eugene? I think this is going to stay close. Both teams are fairly even Stevens. I, I'm, I'm expecting a 5-4 finish. 5-4? So you think we're only getting... Four games. Four more points. Okay. Game. I think we'll start seeing people speed it up a little bit. Brasso taken out. Oh, big pump fake by Wright. She wants to win this ball. Yeah. Piper secures that fourth. Will they do the team throw here? Solo throw. They only needed one. They only needed one. It's true. They're making me eat my words now. <laughs> Commentator's curse at its yeah. best. Oh, oh, and a double. Double by right. right. Okay, right. well, you okay, know what? Okay, yeah, enough of this. <laughs> Galliini's like, three's enough. Yeah. Double oh, throw. Does good it slide good by Jumping Rods. Oh! Galliini getting Jew. Four balls now, Caffeine and Co. Four, three, two, one, two, Takes out Garcia. 
Oh, and suddenly it's a 2v3. Right, the accuracy has gone up. The, the pace of play seems to have sped up. Mm -hmm. And you know what? With Gallienni and Jobin Ross, you have a lot of experience here. These are veteran players on Caffeine. You know, captain and Team Panda squad member. They know what they're doing. They know how they want to play this. Wow. Oh. Great throw by Leaf. Better dodge by Jobin Ross. Three balls here. Hyper makes their plan. They approach the line. Leaf takes the shot at the Strong double ball. Strong block. Oh. All six. Field. Oh, my gosh. Good cross by Gallini. Field thinking was coming from Jobin Ross. And that throw was completely disguised. Amazing play there. They go after Lau. Lau trying that rush shot. Oh, she gets out of the way. Lots of balls fired. We end up three balls aside. Onus on Hyper. Mm -hmm. Throw by Field. Doesn't connect. We'll see what play Caffeine and Co come up with. Do they throw two? I think it's a straight. Oh, but Jobin Ross faking, saying, I'll do it again. Yeah. It could be a setup play, too, where Jobin Ross throws a straight, and you see that trail cross court. Oh. No, nope, not going to see it. Yeah, Lau, Lau breaking the block. Uh, huge block there. Jobin Ross, though, a formidable catcher. 2v1 scenario. Oh. oh. Miss block. Lau taking the out. Now we have Fields versus Jobin Roz. Field comfortable throwing from deep. Oh, and comfortable diving for it. The bounces. Bounce. Yep. Very close, though. Resets, three balls both sides, take a deep breath. Field getting a second life in a different way. Good block there. Jobin Ross, throw and dodge. Ooh, Ooh, stays inbound. Yeah, Jobin Ross knows Field's a catcher. Trying to put it on the outside, so maybe Field gets greedy, gets a finger on it. Taking a little bit of a breath. It's been a long point. Field has shown she's willing to throw both. Yes. Jobin. Changes the angle. One. Does throw both. Oh. Oh. And Curling that's through. Eugene, what we're talking about, pattern. Jobin Ross read that. She knew, okay, this player's willing to throw both. I'll rush up, bait the other throw, wait for her to go down, then place my shot. Very smart play. Excellent analysis there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 4-2 lead, Caffeine & Co. This becomes a very big point for Hyper. You don't want any match to go up, I think. No. Three, you're starting to feel the deficit. You're starting to feel like it's a little more of an uphill climb. Two, you're like, I can come back from this. Big throw by Leaf. Yeah, getting flat. That's a big player to get out. They have an edge. Six on five, three balls. McKinnis doesn't connect, gets countered. Constantine nailing the shot. McGinnis wasn't ready for that one. I'm sure if she was, we'd see her looking for that catch. Big throw. Yeah, Boissonneau, big block too. Four ball attack, Caffeine and Co. at the line. They throw two. Yeah. Counter and re-counter, nothing connects. And I liked what Caffeine did there. They threw two balls, but they staggered it. Ju's a very strong dodger. They wanted her to get into a certain place first. Oh! oh. Toe, toe tapper. Yeah, nailing Richard. See if they call her number again. They do. Yeah, and that's always a good thing, too. When the player's feeling hot, they're on. You want to use that until they're not. Mm. Attack Lau, quick to the line. Counter does it. Just misses. Four balls back to Caffeine and Co-Side. Lau and Ju also pickups for Hyper. Um, originally, they played with Dynamite, a home in BC. Um, but after Hyper qualified, you know, some players unable to make it, and, and they picked up these two players, and they're fitting in flawlessly. Catch! Wow! Jovan Ross! I believe 
believe this is actually. I would love to see her name because I think it's Fortier. Says 17 on her sheet, but seven, seven. on the jersey. Amazing catch there. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Oh, oh the second the catch catch. That was all hands, too. Yeah, full fingers. Bringing Richard back in. Oh, and a big hit on Lau. That had boom to it. Full lead here, Caffeine and Co. Pelletier blocking that, no problem. Hyper in five, four, three, two. And as you said, Eugene, this is a very important point. Pelletier and Garcia. Yep. Oh. Herself out. Oh. Garcia gets taked out. 5 2 lead. This is the three point lead. We'll see yeah. if Piper calls a timeout. And there's that momentum from for caffeine, you know? They're feeling really good. They're smiling. They're jazzing each other up. Piper with a small lineup change. Ready to go again. Very serious faces. Sapinis gets a hill. Second shot by Wright. Early lead. And Lau pushing for this ball. Great pressure. That's exactly the response you need to have. Oh, oh two. And another one. Leaf just absolutely smiting Jobin Ross. Hyper attack again. And again. Leaf on Gallini. I don't think they've missed this point. No, Hyper hasn't <laughs> wasted a ball yet. Big, Big block and dodge from Fortier. Single ball in Garcia's hands. See if she goes for a trade. Big pump pressure. Ooh, waiting until the very last second to throw that ball. Leaf getting very close to the line, but staying in. Piper opting not to counter. They're comfortable attacking with three. Block, oh. sixth ball. And this is when a player can do some damage. You have six balls, you get a full wind up. Leaf consistently dodging to her right. Switching to the middle with the ball. Double throw. Getting really low. Piper with the play call, three at the line. Ooh, big throw from right. Bigger block from Fortier. She's done a great job blocking these attacks. Yeah, and with her wrist wrapped up the way that it is and her thumb supported the way it is, I'm assuming this is probably a bit painful. This ball retreat gives Piper the additional ball. Doesn't matter. Wow. And you know what Fortier's probably thinking here? This is clockwork. Yes. You know, as much as the of the clock that she can use, it's going to make it a lot harder for Piper to close that deficit. If Caffin can, you know, dwindle as much time as possible, they're in a really good position. Even if Forte doesn't win this. Yep. And as you mentioned earlier, Hyper not as deep of a bench, so you're burning arms. Yeah. Great point. She can take a breather. Yeah, in the she's, next game. Exactly. She'll be able to sit on the bench and have someone else come in after doing all this hard work. Oh Takes. my goodness, and she dodges again. And she, she, she'll get an elimination as this uh, over the line oh. by Fields. You know, we always say middle line is MVP. Oh, Wright tries to squeeze into a catch, and you can start to see some of the pressure build up mm -hmm. on the hyper side. They threw three balls, didn't connect, yeah. went for a catch. Which I respect the first catch attempt. You know, I always say when you're up players, you can go for the first catch. After that, you're done being greedy. Because then it becomes a chain reaction, and everyone's going for catches, and everyone's going down. Three ball attack by Hyper. I would like to see them just throw one. Ops to throw oh. two. Yeah, throwing one and setting up for the for pinch. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. especially with this solid block, they haven't been able to beat it, change things up instead of going for a double attack, go for this counterplay. Yeah, or, you know, oh, and she eliminates Leaf. That's a huge arm, I was just about to say. Or you look at your players and say, hey, who has a curve? Who has a drop? Who can potentially break this ball with a tricky throw? Here it is. Double counter, does not connect. Oh. Timeout, smart play here. Caffeine Co. gets the timeout, gives her a chance to take a breath. Yeah. And continue to burn clock. Yeah. And let's was we have eight minutes and 44 seconds. So fun fact, folks, an average point in dodgeball across the board is three minutes and 30 seconds. Did you know that, Eugene? I did not. Fun fact. Good to know. Yeah. Don't ask me how I got that statistic. No. <laughs> but I remember that statistic. Um, and so, you know, if we're looking at under nine minutes, that's under three points. So Hyper needs to win out the next three points in order to tie it up before clock ends. And that's if they can close this point against Fortier. The one minute timeout is over. Play starts again. Garcia smiling. Okay, Hyper's feeling good. Single ball on the Hyper side. Pushes the line, Garcia dodges. Two balls, we'll see a pinch play potentially. Wow, very fast. Pelche armed and ready. Single throw, Lau has to block it, Pelche throws, yeah. Lau bounces. Something I would love to see from the hyper side here is Pelche actually you know, cheating up to that activation line to create a, a more severe pinch closing that gap even more, and applying pressure to Forte so she doesn't feel as comfortable to make the shot. Yeah. Very smart though, throwing the ball right on target on Lau. Oh, Lau with a big Prevent. fake. They want this third ball. Personally, I would have loved to see the shot before the second ball gets in hand after the blocking that Forte has been showing. And she finally gets taken out, does an amazing job. Gets the clock down to under eight minutes. 5-3, huge point now for Hyper. Yeah. Kalite looking really good after that shot. But the crowd. Wow. Round you know. of applause for that performance. Went from 1v6 to 1v3. Yeah. And so much time used. Oh. Catch. Flat with the catch yeah. on field. Yeah. Crowd loving it. Now still plenty of time for Hyper in this game. They do not need to force the issue. They just need to win one. No, and Hyper didn't need to take that shot. It was Caffin's burden. But no no harm done. Six players on the Caffin side, their obligation to throw. Joe Ben Ross making the call. She takes it. LJ huge pump fake. They will regroup. Hyper in five, four, three. Leaf with the throw, oh. second catch. Flat. Taking over this game, two catches. She's making the call too. Calls and she her own throws number. it. Oh, great block. Oh. oh my god. Ball in hand and makes the catch. Lao can't believe it. What do they put in the water in Quebec? They don't even need to throw and kill. They just need to catch and kill. And I know what they put in the water. A little bit of caffeine. Ah! <laughs> Eugene. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Three ball attack. Caffeine at the line. Throw by Richard. No hold. Bars. Um. Right, making a good hit earlier in this point. Oh! Momentum. Oh, we need to move the time right. so that the team can see it. Is the request from Time, Pelletier. time out here, time out. It's a good decision from Hyper. They will need to play very fast. Yes. 
fast, but also focusing on survivability. They don't want to be going for risky moves or catches. They need their bodies right now, but they also need some aggressive hits. All of those shots, and you know this is what, <laughs> I feel like I'm saying this all now, but something I always say too is when someone catches you, that just means you are accurate. Yes. So, so whenever you need that mental reset, it's like, okay, well, I was accurate, but now I can be more accurate. I know they can catch, so let's put that throw either higher or lower, get the knees, get the shoulder. You know, Hyper can make that adjustment. They're hitting their shots. They're just hitting them into pockets. Yeah. Amazing catches here. I hope we get to see Kakin make 20 catches for the rest of this tournament, if they win. Yes, they're in a very good position to do so. Yeah. If I'm on the hyper side, I actually would like to see them gamble on some catches. Yes. And something to note for time here for Hyper 2, they only need to finish two points before time runs out in order to go to no blocking, in order to tie it. And then they would go to a four minute overtime regulation to break the tie as it's playoffs. So the crunch isn't as bad as it looks. Yeah. Try and get this one relatively quick before the 3.30 mark yeah. <laughs> for an average time game. <laughs> right goes for the catch. Just can't squeeze it. Caffeine and Co. at the line again. Flat with the play call. Windmill blocked by Pelche. Leaf making the call. Oh. Gets through the block. What a massive throw. I would love to know the speed on Leaf's throw. Because it must be one of the hardest in the women's division. I would agree, oh. and she does it again. Hitting flat, and I love that double push by Hyper. They ha knew they had four balls, so they took two on that pushback. Pelite clapping for Jobin Ross after that shot. Four, four v four. Leaf just missing. Jobin Ross, big pump fake. Trying to set up right. Leaf sees through it and dodges. Hyper in five, four, three. Oh, oh team oh, catch. Oh, Wilson Listen. securing it, saving Constantin, bringing back Richard. Four, Unfortunate for Garcia. Electing to throw everything at Leaf. And probably the right move after the two E limp she's gotten earlier this point. Four, three yeah. balls. Oh, oh my gosh! Team catch again. Amazing. Richard, and Cole. Absolutely laying out for it. Five, four, three. Oh! oh! Of course. Oh my gosh. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, that's on a catch. That's how they have to do it. I don't know what it is. What it is? They like transfer catching powers to each other. Yeah. Do they spend their entire practices doing nothing but catching? I thought they were good catches last game. This game just might have topped it. Yeah, I I would agree. I, this is the most catches I've seen in a match so far this Nationals. Yep, I I think so too. Especially like. I think the, f the first game had four. This one had three to close it out. Yeah, yeah. And you know what, Eugene, something to think about to that contributes to that is we are at the four, end of day two. People's arms are getting tired. But not only that, the balls are getting softer, right? Your grip softens it. And you know what? Maybe credit here goes to Forte for that long game. Tiring out the arms, tiring this push from Hyper. A lot point. of throws in that one game. Yeah, yeah, that is a fantastic point, actually. And, and you know, it's I know some teams, clockwork can be a controversial thing for them, but look at the payoff here. Hyper in five, four, three. Line. Oh, and look at Richard. Hands out, saying, 
saying, give it to me. Like, she wanted to go for that catch. She's feeling confident about it. We have a minute, 23 seconds left. Piper, at this point, wanting to go out on a high note. They've had a great tournament. Yep, one minute remaining. Unlike round robins, we will not be playing out the sudden death. As Caffeine and Co has secured their win. But still great performance from Hyper, local BC team. Yes, yeah, fantastic performance. You know, this has been a very entertaining game. The, the points so much closer than the score really shows. Caffeine will advance into the quarterfinals. Yeah, and quarterfinals, that's when everything gets difficult. You know, every team in the top eight it has the ability to win it all. It gets really, really dicey. There may be small preferences on who you want to go against, but they're, they're all going to be very difficult. As we wind down the clock to wrap things up. Ball okay. up off McGinnis. Jew secures it. Amazing but, game here. Yeah. Congratulations to Caffeine and Co for advancing. Great performance by Hyper. They should feel proud of themselves for this. Absolutely, especially with an eight-man bench. You know, that's a that's a long two days, and they played great. Their arms were still so impressive that entire time. McGinnis with a fantastic catches, field with some great plays. Of course, Leaf, Pelletier, and you with some great throws. Lau with the pressure. I mean, Garcia with the dodging. Wright with uh, so many throws and dodges right into it. Like, they all played great. But Caffin, Caffin with the most insane catching I've ever seen. Great team play the entire time. You know, they all shined, but they all made each other, like, they set each other up to perform well. Absolutely, and they'll need that teamwork. Yeah. As they draw Rainbow Thunder oh. in the quarterfinals. So look forward to that tomorrow, day three. But up next, we go back to the men's division. We will find out which teams play here on the feature court. Thank you for joining us. We'll take a small break here at the 2024 Canadian National Dodgeball Tournament. This is Eugene Liu and Alan Sky. Thanks.